All right, so here's how that trick worked. Uh, it really can be done with a brand new pack of cards. All you have to know is what card is on the bottom. Let's say the Queen of Clubs. So if you don't know how to shuffle yet, maybe you're still doing the old this one. Uh, all you have to really do is turn the cards in a way like this. Just do a quick 180 turn that allows you to see the bottom of the deck. So you turn it, you get one quick glimpse. So if you're shuffling it, you do all this brand, all this different type of cuts, really doesn't matter. Get as fancy as you want, do that 180 turn, you know what the bottom card is, jack of clubs. So then, you spread through the deck, and you tell someone, you tell an audience member, take out the jack of clubs. They pick out any card, it really doesn't matter. You take a look at it, you don't let them see it. It's the Nine of Spades. Just put it aside. Um, you don't even have to pick it up to mix it up again. I just do it for a more believable look. These are all false cuts. So I'm controlling the deck the entire time. I know exactly where the Jack of Clubs is, and it'll end up being at the bottom. So I spread through the deck again. All right take out the nine of spades. I'll leave the space up. Take out the nine of spades. They wouldn't know that because you're the only one who looked at it. They, they take out another card. All right, six of hearts. All right, now this would be the biggest giveaway of how to do the trick. This is why I don't suggest doing it. Um, when Mike, my friend first showed me how to do this trick, he's like, all right, now I'll take out the six of hearts and he just took out the bottom card. I think that's very, uh, back then, it would be easier for me to believe, but now that I know the craft and know what to look for, uh, I have to control the deck in a way where it's believable for someone else. Like, if I wouldn't believe it, then I can't expect someone else to believe it. So they think they took out the Jack of Clubs, and then they think they took out the Nine of Spades. So I'm like, all right, now I'll look for the six of hearts. So what I do, what I personally do, is I cut the deck, and I leave my pinky right here, called the break, where you know exactly where, it's this, it's this one, right here. You know exactly where it is, and you're like, all right, I'll look for the six of hearts. So using the break, you spread through the deck, and you stop right at this card, and I go even further, but I usually leave my fingers right on it so I know which one it is so I don't get lost. So I go, keep going through it. I'll take out the six of hearts. All right, this seems to be a good one. So there's our three cards. Put it back to the side. It's all in the delivery, like I said. You gotta mix these cards up. All right, now we said the six of hearts, the nine of spades, and the jack of clubs. At this point, it really won't matter which card you flip over. It'd be nice if you could do it in the order that you picked it, but it's not necessary. Jack of clubs, six of hearts, nine of spades. These are your three cards.